Hello and welcome to another Planet Destiny video, and it is time for another Bungie weekly update. First up, there are some stats about last week's Trials of Osiris. Almost 3.8 million matches were played over the weekend. There were almost 120 million kills recorded. I know I dished out at least half of those, so no big deal there. Only 188,000 players visited the lighthouse on Mercury, even though almost 300,000 had a perfect scorecard. I'm pretty pleased by those numbers, and hopefully as Trials goes on, more people will get used to the game mode and that number of players that got a perfect scorecard will increase. They also posted some heat maps of the most popular fighting areas on the Mercury map. And spoiler alert, 90% of those are inside. We all knew the outside had the real advantage on that map. The last bit of info about Trials was addressing the now notorious cheating methods some players were using to gain wins. In the words of Varix the Loyal, You disappoint me, Guardians. Enjoy your punishment. Switching gears, we can all be happy to hear that Iron Banner will be returning next week, or Tuesday, June 2nd. The rewards will be boots, gauntlets, fusion rifles, scout rifles, and etheric light at ranks 3 and 5. There are some other updates to Iron Banner that are worth mentioning. Lower ranked guardians on your account will receive a reputation boost to catch up your higher ranked guardians more quickly. Rewards will cost less glimmer, finally. The gunsmith has inherited Lord Salad's weapon reforging service. Player level still matters, and it matters a bit more since the level gap has increased some. And the Cauldron and Pantheon have been added to the Iron Banner playlist along with the Exodus blue map on PlayStation. So there's some nice quality of life changes coming to the Iron Banner. Hopefully they can make it a little bit easier to rank up now that there are a lot more activities to try and complete in one week. Prison of Elders on three difficulties on three characters. Trials, Nightfall, Weekly. I'll have a lot of stuff to cover next Tuesday. Finally, Deej lets us know about a few of the community issues that the live team is currently working on. These changes do not have a release date, but they will be coming with the next patch, hopefully. They include Mercury emblems that don't appear in inventories, the treasure key famine and the farmers who need some relief, ammo synthesis that piles up in your inventories from said farming, quests, ships, and shaders not being granted by Prison of Elders, and some of the encounters with known Prison of Elders bosses. Again, these changes do not have a release date, but reading YouTube comments and Reddit, it sounds like they're addressing some of the major issues that House of Wolves has. Now, if they could just increase the vault space so I can hold all these weapons that I need to review... Anyway, that's it as far as the Bungie update is concerned, but we might as well tell you about some other things before we end the video. It looks like Destiny will be at E3 this year, and the Taken King expansion will be what they are showing. This was confirmed on IGN, so come June 16th, it looks like we'll start to see the trickle of information come from there. Also, in case you hadn't noticed, we just hit 250,000 subscribers. A quarter of a million. That's incredible, guys. I remember back months ago making that 100,000 subscriber video and thinking how far a road it was to 250,000, but here we are, and in record time. Thank you to everyone that subscribes here on YouTube. We really do appreciate it. We'll have another giveaway video coming out very soon, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in for this week's weekly update video. And again, thank you for subscribing and helping us get to 250 thousand subscribers. This has been Patrick Casey with Planet Destiny, your guide to the Destiny universe.